Hello and welcome back to Manor Lords. And in the last episode, we had finally gone to a point where I could say we were starting to expand. Uh, we did run out of stone deposit, unfortunately. And it looks like this clay deposit is getting kind of low. I don't know. I assume that that's going to disappear as well. Uh, because what I did read is that uh, unless it's a rich deposit, it is pretty much always going to get depleted at some point. And uh, apparently even with, with these rich deposits, you have to like upgrade uh, the building or something like that. So it, in one aspect, we got pretty lucky with, or pretty unlucky, I should say, with the starting region just because the berries are far. You know, we, we have had to expand pretty far to get the resources that we needed. However, I think it's also lucky in the sense that we got this rich iron deposit. And not only that, but when you look at the next region over, we have a rich stone deposit. As well as that shoal of fish going on. And then up here, we have a rich wild berry deposit and a rich wild animal deposit. So I think we're actually okay. Like I said, I want to try to get over to this bandit camp uh, and attack them. I wonder if there's a way. Can, is there any way to see... Doesn't seem like we can click to see what uh, what is actually going on there. How do we even attack it then? Uh, let's say claim with influence, claim with king's favor, army, pick a rallying spot and mobilize for combat. Make sure you have a logging camp before placing more buildings. Hmm. Make sure you have a, you're about to run out of timber and block what? What does that mean? Uh that's confusing. We have plenty of timber. Okay. I'm gonna assume that that triggered because of something that uh has nothing to do with me. So I don't know if I'm e even able am I not able to attack it because I don't have command over this region, or if I place it here, will we be able to rally them over to there that is kind of the question here we'll have to figure that out in a little bit for now I actually wanted to check all of our resources we have over here we have 20 wool 64 hides 33 iron and uh, 188 clay it looks like so I think it's time that we do a little bit of industry now we can turn our iron ore into iron slabs, we can turn iron slabs into tools, we can turn clay into roof tiles, uh, we can turn hides into leather, and we can also weave wool into yarn. We could turn berries into dyes, but we don't have enough food for that yet, so we're not even going to consider that. Another thing I want to do is, they're not really collecting these berries fast enough, so I think I want to even put a third person on here. I don't know how I force a family to join this house. Can I kick them out of their old house maybe and move them over here? I would like to do that. Is that a thing I can do? Uh, residing family. Show workplace. Reassign family to a different workplace. But it doesn't seem like we can force them out. Um, hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. So they're going all the way over here to work. Getting a basket, transporting. But it doesn't seem like we can move them. Uh, expand living space. That kind of sucks. I don't know if anybody knows a way that you can do that. Please let me know. It doesn't seem like we can, so they're just going to have to leg it all the way over here I suppose for now otherwise we're gonna go ahead and get started on this industry one thing I want to do before that however uh, let's go is it residential yes marketplace okay I'm gonna there's only two stalls here left I had checked before uh, so what we want to do is we're gonna expand it pretty much just take up this entire little sector as it were and that should give them a few more spaces, three more stall locations, that's five total. We'll go ahead and expand it even a little bit more then. Yeah. Okay, and how much does that give them? 
One? You're telling me only one stall could fit right there. Okay. I disagree with that, but that's what they're telling me. Maybe it'll change with time. Uh, distribute ale. I don't think we are able to create ale yet, right? Or does it just generate? I would think that you would need hops or something of that nature. Uh, barley, right? Maybe that's... I don't, I don't know, actually. Um, maybe we should just try it. Maybe we place it down and just see? Does it just get created on its own? I feel like that wouldn't work. Corpse pit. Place to bury those less deserving of a service. So I'm assuming that this is how bodies are typically taken care of. It could be good to have just because if a bandit attacks us or a bandit um, group attacks us again, just throw their bodies way over way over here. Yeah, you just we'll just have you there. We'll have your corpses. I wish you could have like uh, posts. <laughs> put put their heads on pikes or something. Don't come through here. Maybe you can do that later. I don't know. But what we're gonna do? First things first. We want to have uh, probably the bloomery smelt iron ore into iron slabs. We probably want that as close as possible to this. So it's actually probably fine to just place it like right next door. We'll do the same thing with the smithy. Put that there. Now our clay furnace. Uh, I don't know if we need that to be over there because at some point we're gonna have to go to this one. So it actually may be better to place it like along this road somewhere. Hmm. Maybe, let's see. It's kind of tough. Maybe we do just place it more in the city. Get a place there, no. Here. Oh, honestly, here might be fine for now. We can always move it if we absolutely have to. And that'll be good to get those roof tiles because then we can upgrade the church. Which is... We only need ten of them, so... That shouldn't take very long. Turn our hides into leather. That sounds good to me as well. Uh, if we place this here, we're gonna knock down some trees, right? Trees uprooted. I would like to only uproot one if we can. Maybe we just, this still isn't being used, right? It is not. Maybe we just demolish this then. We've already uprooted that tree anyways. Oh no, there's not enough room still. Why is that? Hmm. I feel like there is. That's strange. Uh, maybe we do the same thing with this one then. Demolish. Place the tannery. Please? Why? Is it just because the supplies are in the way, maybe? Maybe if we just... Just wait for the storehouse people to come get it then? I don't think we're really constructing, so we'll try to put a third person on there and maybe that'll speed things along. Okay, so I have no idea why they are not uh, coming to do that. It's a little strange to me. And there's no- it doesn't seem like we can place it anywhere right there because of that. I don't know if it's just because of the supply thing or what. We'll just place it somewhere else for now, I suppose, then. I think as long as it's somewhat close to the storehouse, I guess it's probably okay. Um, so maybe just right here. Not too terrible. And then we'll also place the weaver's workshop. Um, this will actually be pretty close. Is that going to uproot a tree? Seems like it won't. Yeah, okay, cool. So it'll be pretty close to the sheep farm there. Uh, so we'll just take that extra person off the storehouse so that he'll go build. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything we need for the moment. We can, oh uh, yeah, that's right. We can build the manor. So do we have enough space cleared out? I think if I want to place the manor, I want to place it 
just kind of inwards from that logging camp. Something like... Something like this. Seems kind of small. Seems a little bit small. Um, I'm not too worried about that, though. Okay, there we go. Welcome to the Castle Planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Okay. Uh, add a point. Placing roads and walls. So am I building... Let's see, hold on. Drag to relocate so we don't need to do that. Place roads. Okay. Yes, we would like to have a road probably going straight to here. Well, actually, probably even make it a little curvy. Kind of like that. Uh, and possibly another one going from here. We definitely want everything to be accessible. And we'll also just, uh, yeah, there we go. I think that actually looks great. Um, add modules. Okay, we have plenty, we do have plenty of planks. So we can definitely do walls and gates now. The question is, uh, too far from other modules. How does this work? Oh, it, it, it only surrounds the manor. Okay. It seems. Am I wrong about this? Let's see. Too far from other modules. Too far from other mo- okay. So it seems like the walls can only protect the manor. Uh, how many extra- how much, uh, planks do we have? I don't- I remember we had something like a hundred, if I recall. Uh, I'll just keep- if we can afford it, then I would like to surround the entire manor. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, 62. That's quite a lot of blanks, but if we can do it, we'll do it. Outer Tower. Provides 10 garrison space. Garrisons and villagers shoot projectiles. Okay, that says it's a work in progress. Uh, so can we just... Okay, okay. I don't know how many we should do. Oh! Whoa, okay. I didn't know that it would expand that as well. Okay, that's actually really cool. Um, ooh, that makes everything a lot bigger. Uh, so now... Can we move these walls instead of like adding new ones? I would, uh, I'd love to do that. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing here. This looks a little funky to me. Okay, I guess I should have placed these first. Um, this all looks a little weird now. Uh, maybe- can I just, like, completely reset everything? No. Seems- it appears I cannot do that. Can we... Remove. Okay. Let's just... Let's start over a little bit. Start over. Start over. That includes the walls, yes. Okay. There. Now. Outer towers. So that is probably the first thing we want to build, then. We'll build one right here. Uh, another one is far... Out here? Uh, why can't it build? Oh, okay. There. One here, and one... Here. Okay. Now, build a couple of extra, we'll build one. It's kind of like... That. Just try to make this as circular as possible. Uh, ooh, okay, maybe that won't actually be very good because it's going to overlap with all of our 
Okay, so we'll just... This actually seems good for now. And we'll build... Another here. So we can still kind of round it out a little bit. Okay, that looks better. Increased maximum retinue size by 12, limited by 1 per region. Can this go anywhere? Does it also expand? Yes, it does. Okay, so... If we're going to do that, we, I think we might actually wait for that. Cosmetic only under rework. Um... I think I would like it, even though, I mean, it only costs four timber, so... Uh, does it have to be within the bounds? Yes, it does. Uh, we can just place it kind of on the road, I guess. Oops. Cosmetic only, uh, but it does apparently also expand the bounds. Okay, um... In that case, we don't really need that. So it doesn't have a lot of use, however. It expands our bounds, so that's kind of nice. Put that there, then. And we will also probably don't really need this one, or maybe we'll just put it out. Actually, all right, I'm a little indecisive here, but we're going to put that back and we'll probably place at least the garrison tower. But for right now, this is OK. Um, so we will just. I actually do not know at all if this is the best. Uh, way to do this. Definitely. I don't know. I can't place it because probably because of this. Okay. What we'll do then, we're just going to commit and we're going to see how many resources we have used. So we still have 62 stone, 80 planks, and 80 timber. Um, so I think we're probably good on this, we're actually probably going to dismantle both logging camps and we'll place probably one of them on one of the... We'll, we'll place one of them again. But at least for now we're going to demolish this one. And we'll go back to constructing. Can we like go back to that menu we were at before? It doesn't... Uh, doesn't seem like we can. Hmm. That kind of sucks because we don't have the walls. Is there some way we can do it again? Place, show labels, road access obstructed. I don't I don't understand why we can't go back to that menu. Well, uh, I guess we'll maybe once it's done constructing then. So in the meanwhile we're gonna place another actually we'll just leave them off. So that everything gets built a little bit faster, and we will also Expand the work area a little bit more. I'll just put it... Yeah, something like that. Alright. So now we need things to get built. That's pretty much all we need at this point. Um, I don't think that there's anything else we really need to place at the moment. Pack station. Set up a barter connection allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Okay, so we don't need that yet. Uh, do we need... We actually have a little bit more regional wealth, so I don't know, maybe... Maybe we would like to buy a little bit more livestock, perhaps? Or we could get more oxen. We are out of space. Order another oxen. Order another horse. I don't think... Can we not upgrade this again? Seems like we cannot. So maybe we just make another one. Another hitching post. Place it here. And we have three people spare now. Uh, do we not... So we have 32 living spaces, 20 population. Okay. Or 20 family population, I should say. Uh, we'll put... Because it is already May, and we still have a ton of berries, so I would like to have another person working on that. 
At some point, what I think I will do with the berries is uh, I will place probably three total people, total families over there. And that should, should do us pretty well. So we'll just speed things along now and I'll be back with you when uh, things are getting completed on building. It looks like the Weaver's Workshop is built. But uh, we'll deal with all that once, once it's all ready. Okay, so now we're getting Pantry is full. So we'll probably just go back down to two people then. We don't have any real need. Hopefully they'll actually... Maybe I should just leave a third on there and hopefully they'll move things over to the store or the granary themselves. Maybe I should have another person working on the granary then. Nothing is stored inside. That seems like the best. Wait, I don't want that. Okay, cool. And at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and immediately upgrade this. And where did we put that weaving? Was that over here? No, the tannery is over here. Uh, weaving. Weaving, where did I put the weavers? Oh, wait, it's right here. Yes, yes, yes. We'll put one person there. Okay, so I'm back over here at the wild berries, and as you can see here, uh, it fully replenished again. Um, so maybe we should uh, put this, put these people back. Um, I don't really want to add the herb garden, uh, so we'll just we'll we'll leave it how it is. We're doing a little bit better on food, but hopefully, hopefully they gather even more. We still need a lot of this other stuff to be finished as well. Hopefully, hopefully they will this this year get started on that. I don't know what they do in the meanwhile. Hopefully they at least work on the pasture a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. Just says they're going home. I guess they find other things to work on maybe. Okay. Well, that is all fine. We'll just keep speeding things along, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, the berries do- I didn't even realize that they- they grow this quickly, uh, when it's especially like summer and- summer and everything, so we're actually going to place another person here, and let's see, do we still have the two people on the granary? We do, um, we'll probably just have the one, just have the one, because we do want to get some of this stuff finished building. Uh, they're doing pretty good on the manor. It's almost got all the goods transported. Um, let's see, where are we on everything else? We need somebody on the tannery. We'll wait just a little while longer, though. Try to get a little bit more things. Okay. Now there's an extra person, so we'll put them on the tannery. Uh, and we also need somebody for the... How many fuel reserves should we put on it? Probably ten? Seems okay. What about the bloomery? Same thing. Maybe tent. Should be okay. We do have the one person on the mining pit, so the next next person that we get uh, will be for the bloomery, and then after that, the smithy. But I think that might be where we call it. Maybe we'll uh, just wait to see if the manor gets built. Uh, and then that'll probably be it for the episode. Okay, so just an update. Uh, as you can see, the wild berries are actually completely depleted now. Which, I thought they depleted a little bit later. Um, I don't know why it doesn't... You would think it would tell you right here. It says seasonal, so I guess just because it's getting to the end of summer. That might be why. I thought, I thought it actually depleted in September last year. But either way, we'll go ahead and, um, we'll keep an eye on it, but for now we'll move these guys over to the Woodcutter's Lodge. We'll move two of them over there, probably. And the rest of these guys, we have five now. Retinue assembled, and the manor is also assembled. Click on Taxes tab after selecting your manor to set levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poor. 
Uh, so, taxes. Land tax. Predicted approval loss, minus 7. So what's the difference between tithe and land tax? Percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. Collected from regional wealth. So this will turn regional wealth into treasury, is the way I'm understanding that. Uh, and we can put surplus... Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that because we don't have any surplus food right now. <laughs> Quite the opposite. We are doing terrible. Um, we'll probably try to keep at least 70% approval ratings, so this is already kind of putting us under that, but we'll do that for now. Transport a little bit of our regional wealth into treasury. But uh, I think that's where we're going to end it for the episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.